is Pry L. I'm um, just showing you my first iteration of my punch card music box. Um, this version plays 24 notes um, on the note box, but <coughs> um, found out early on that if you try to play the same note twice in a row, it only plays it once. So I went and redesigned it. Um, this is the original, though. Um, it plays 45 beats, I think. Was it 11, 11, 11, 11 is 44, plus an extra block, so yeah, 45 um, actual beats of a song. Um, if it's in 4-4 four four time, obviously that's like 11 measures, um, so that's not a whole heck of a lot. Um, also, it plays it kind of slow. I've got a 4-tick, or a 4-count piston clock that I built that runs the power to the blocks. Um, only using two of the outputs uh, no, I guess I'm using all four of the outputs, although I'm using them rather stupidly. Um, later design, I decided to run horizontal pistons on one and vertical pistons on the other, since they're never both on at the same time. Um, anyway, uh, just to give you an idea of what this does, um, the all the glass here is basically a tape, or a punch card, or you know, one of the metal cylinders with pins on it that you'd see in a music box. Um, all the glass is the flat surface or the unpunched surface, and anywhere that there's a solid block, which I've been using just black wool, because it's easy to see in contrast against the glass, um, would be considered the pin or the punch hole or whatever. Um, <coughs> the purple bar here is the reader. It throws a signal through the glass, um, or, well, through the, the wall here, through the tape, whatever, to my output, which in this case is music blocks. Whenever there's glass, the circuit cannot complete. Uh, whenever there's a solid object, or a solid block, the circuit completes, and it sends a signal to the music box and the light that I have out there. Um, you can't really hear it from this far away, which we'll figure that out in a minute. I'm going to just turn it on. It's not going to be terribly exciting. Here, you can hear the damn pistons going off. And you'll see as the tape goes around, as it's pushing. crank the sound and it works a little better, but anyway, so that, that was the first music box. Um. Just break a torch there to turn off the engine. And I'll see you in the next video where we explore version 2, where I increase the tape length uh, from 45 beats to I think 136 beats, 132 beats, I don't know, I'd have to count them. Anyway, um, it's significantly more of a song, and um, I figured out a way with the note blocks to have uh, where you can play the same note over and over. Um, right now, if you try, like if I put in two blocks, or, uh, you know, two data bits to play this note in a row, it will play it once. But since the signal doesn't separate or doesn't disconnect, it doesn't really play it again. It just continues sending uh, current to it, but it only plays it once. So what I had to do is I ended up doing two of each note, which makes this significantly bigger. But you'll see that in the next video.